Where's, where's Karen and Bob? Here we are. Here. On there. Oh. I see them. Why does David say the Kennedys now? What? what Hillary? Where are the Bortowski's? Oh, there oh, they are. are. Not Bortowski's. What happened to Erica? Everybody. Oh, Coming back. She's in the kitchen. There's Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hello. It would be better. Oh, if you Josh. Oh, my God. It's what time, everyone? So good to see everyone. Where's Annie? She's just washing her hands. Yeah. Where's oh, my Annie? Annie. Annie. Sure. Annie. Annie. Love from Grandpa. <laughs> Abby. Washing hands. That's how Abby things are to me. <laughs> Abby. Isabel. Jake. Wave to me. Yay. Hi, Hi Karen. Bob. Hi there. Hello. Hasimea. Great to see everybody. Great to see everybody. Debbie, you did it. Hey, that's her. All right. Who are we? All right. Well, what happened? I'm going to cry for a second. Yeah, David's family. Need ice? Karen's family. We don't have Lauren. I'm Where? trying to. No, Lauren's not coming. Well, <laughs> Lauren's not coming. I, she's mm. trying. She's trying. But I think I did a darn good job. And, um, but I mean, she had no I left my phone. Just go on. All right, I see everybody. Okay, so uh, Lauren and Trevor and even Wayne may make an appearance. No, um, Look at me, Jake, Abby, as well. Daddy, what happened? Oh, is everybody good? Can everybody see? Yes. Uh, oh my God. So this is a great guest of honor. Hold on a second. But Wayne, you're on your phone. Why are you not on video? Because I don't have any clothes on. I thought you don't have any clothes on. <laughs> no. He doesn't have any clothes on. Well, more the merrier. Let's see what you look like without any clothes. <laughs> oh, that's uh, funny. We're okay, gonna we're, we're, gonna need, oh. we're gonna need to pass over that Can you right say quickly. That again, just the way you said. <laughs> okay, so anybody who's wondering, the phone that just popped on, as I was starting to say a second ago, this is my <laughs> best ever ex-husband in the whole best world. Best ex-husband ever. <laughs> Is this everybody say hi, Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Where is Wayne? Where are your kids? Why are they not on with me? I don't. I don't. They're. They're. I don't know. They're crazy. All right. Well, we. Hillary, are you there? I'm here. Yes. Okay. Good. All right, well, Wayne, you don't have video, so you're not going to see the Hagada, but I've got chopped liver waiting for you. So you can, yeah. if you want, you can just say hi to everybody and hang out as long as you want. But you can't see him. Oh, oh, there's Julie. There's Kyle. Yeah. There's Kyle. Oh, there's Julie. Yay, there's Julie. Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Where's Griffin? He be up here, Hillary. Uh, he's under the table. Well, we're, we're five floors apart. Five <laughs> floors apart. Here? Social distancing. Uh, hi, Annie. You guys want to put your mask on? <laughs> okay. I'm Trevor's, Trevor's, join, Trevor's joining you now. Whoops. Trevor's joining. Trevor's joining. Oh, yay. Here, here, comes, here, here comes Debbie's number one son. And Wayne's. Let's see. Let's see. Here he comes. Trevor, turn your video on. Oh my goodness. I think it only goes up to nine on the screen, so more people get on. Yeah. You just have to swipe to the right or swipe to the left, and then you'll see more people. Yeah. Wow. Did you say? Uh, so stop. Oh my God! Somebody's. Is the siren from here? 
that, that's got to be Bert's apartment, right, Andrew? Is that where the siren is? No, they're yeah, that's siren. Kennedy. Kennedy, we hear sirens all day long. I don't hear it. Oh, yeah, I don't hear it. I'm a block away. Yeah. Well, they must go down West End Avenue then. Yeah. I hear them all day. But windows are open too. I could close it if it's distracting. Carol. We'll Put some light on your face. You're in, the, you're in a lot of dark. Can you be by a lamp? Who, Aunt Judy? Who? Carol. Me? Yeah. I'm I can see her. I can see her, but she she's not lit up. <laughs> Are you lit up yet? Are you <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm waiting I'm for it. I want oh, yeah. what I want. Yes. Judy. I'm all lit up. Hey, Judy, you want to get lit up? <laughs> yeah, I want to get lit up. <laughs> yay, yay. Everybody say yay, yay. Hey, hi, hey, 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 so Wayne just asked a question. So I'm going to go through and make a few introductions just so Wayne knows who everybody is. So Wayne, you know my dad, Bert, and his girlfriend, Joyce. Um, you know me. Carol, just like you and me, Carol is my dad's second wife. In between my mom, no, third wife, third wife. She's the third and, and last. Last one that ever got a ring. Um, we also have the Borkowskis with that cute little girl in the Michigan uh, t-shirt. That is my cousin David, who is Aunt Judy's son. Then we have Andrew Lipsky. His screen name is Lipsky. And that is my brother, Bert and Carol's son. Then we have Hillary, who is David Borkowski's girlfriend. David, again, is my cousin. Then we have the Raiden family. Erica is my sister and, and her husband, Tony, and their children, Annie and Josh. Then we have the Kennedy family. Karen Kennedy is my cousin my Aunt Judy's daughter and her husband, Bob, and Jake and Isabel and Abby. Oh, wait, uh, up at the Borkowskis, I forgot to introduce Skylar, Kyle, and Ryan. Then we have Dahlia and Stan, Joyce's and Bert's friends from Boca Point. And then my Aunt Judy, who is my dad's sister, and then you know your son, and then you, okay? So now I'll unmute everybody so I know you are all listening to me. I think you got it right. Yeah, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Did I get it? I got everybody right. What? Are, what? I got everybody right. You got everybody right. Oh, there's a quiz. Hi, Trevor. And then everybody else. You got my son, Trevor. You. So many of you guys have never met yet, so I'm so happy to have him on the Zoom screen. Trevor, I met you. Where are you, Trevor? Hi. He's down, he's down he's next to you on our screen. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor, say hi to, to my son, Andrew, who, who you have not met yet. He's, Hello, Andrew. I introduced me. Andrew. Yeah, I know. And the only one missing right now is Lauren, but she has two crazy sons. And she also has some responsibilities for school in order to keep receiving a paycheck. So we don't know exactly if she'll be on or not. We're gonna, get, we're gonna let her slide on that one. So are you guys cool if I start our Seder? Yes. Yes. So You're in charge. I'm in charge. Okay, super. So what I'm going to do is I'm muting everybody just so I can lay a few ground rules. Um, so this is the first time we have ever
been all together in one place. Leave it to the fucking coronavirus to make this happen. Um, I'm so excited to have everybody here. Um, so also I wanna just acknowledge, I have like a 30-ish minute Seder and I know we've got a lot of kids who may or may not be able to withstand the entire 30 minutes. In, in a way to be fair to all, I want to try to expedite getting through the service. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to at most points, keep everybody muted except for the times that I've asked people to read, number one. Number two, if there's places that I can skip through rather quickly, I will. And number three, if there's any point that a child or even a grown-up can't handle the, the whole Seder and needs to get away and disappear for a few minutes, go right ahead. No judgment. Okay. Everybody give me a thumbs up if you're good with that because you're all on mute. Okay. Awesome. The next thing I am going to do, give me a second here. Whoops. Hold on. I need to open my Seder. So desktop, public Seder, Dropbox, public Seder. Sorry, I meant to have it open. Okay, so Zoom, share screen, and share my public Seder. Can everybody see the Haggadah now? Whoops, you're all muted. Hold on. Okay. Let us go and unmute everybody. Okay, so everybody can see our Haggadah. Is that correct? Yeah. 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 Um, we have it all printed out. Okay, well, good for you. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Not everybody did we that. We do too. Okay. I messed up. Fabulous. Okay. All right. So I have here my little candles. And we will light our candles for the lighting of the Yom Tov candles. Not Shabbat, but Yom Tov, which means happy holiday. So if you can, you are welcome to join me in the blessing over the candles. And we also say, for more reasons than one, to say the Shana which says, thank you to God for allowing us to reach this joyous moment in time. So we say it because it's the first night of Passover, but we also can say it because it's the first time we have all ever been together in one space. Join me for the Shehechianu. Baruch Hey Debbie, can I break protocol for a second? Yes. Could we could we see the gallery of everybody and then if someone needs the, the Haggadah to read their part, maybe show it? Because I think it'd be I would just like to see yeah. everybody. You know, and I think most people can download it. I think you can also show the grid video. Like if you're We can do it without we can just do that. Let me see. Yes. You should be able to swipe left or right. You should I can only see four people at a time. Yeah. With the, you can only see four. With the Haggadah. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, because I have to share it for, can you keep the gallery up and we can, so everybody should be able to choose the view of the gallery, either like up on your gallery, you've got one thumbnail, you've got the active speaker, you've got the thumbnail video and you've got the grid video. 
There's like a little bit the top. Yeah, I can't. Well, tell her I think because she's sharing the screen. You can't do no, it. No, but I think there might be a way to do it. I just don't know how to do it. That's all. I don't know what to do. Oh. We have the both queen because we have the Haggadah. Oh. Debbie, can Haggadah? I make a suggestion? Yes. Who doesn't have the Haggadah? <laughs> Debbie doesn't have the Haggadah. That's all right. I'm here in spirit. It's, okay. Oh, okay. Here. Spirit. okay. Uh, so that's fine. I'm so going to Yes, he did. We got it. Everybody have a glass of wine. <laughs> Everybody, and I'm just going to keep on going. Okay. Are we good with that? Participants, you all. Okay. So I won't bother with the reading. I'll expedite through the. Actually, we will. I will do some of the reading. So. Passover is a celebration of freedom. And tonight we celebrate freedom for everyone on earth who is lucky enough to be free. We pray for freedom for the people who still live shackled by the chains of fear, the chains of poverty, the chains of slavery, and the chains of religious intolerance. Please join me, even though everybody's on mute, with the blessing over the first cup of wine. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri hagafen. So now we are on the Seder plate, and I am now going to unmute everybody. So we have Tyler and Kyle and Ryan. I believe you guys are reading this paragraph on uh, of the uh, the shank phone. We're going to talk about. The components of the state. Shake phone is Jake. Jake phone. Jake's on Jake's on Jake's on. No, I'm on those third three. Oh. Okay, so who's going first? Josh. 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 It's Josh. Josh. It's Josh. Josh, Annie, and Jake. Okay. Oh, it's Josh. Oh, that's right. Josh, Annie, and Jake. Oh, Josh. Josh, go ahead. When Moses. When Moses asked the Pharaoh to free the Jews, God brought a horrible plague of, down upon the Egyptians. So there's no big surprise when Pharaoh changed his mind and promised to the Jews. Surprise is he broke his promise. Annie. <coughs> Predictably, God smote Egypt with another plague. Pharaoh promised again, and again he broke his promise. This happened ten times. Here, here. But God, in his infinite wisdom and frustration, sent a particularly horrible plague on Egypt to make sure he had Pharaoh's complete attention. He sent the angel of death to kill the firstborn child of every Egyptian. Jake. Jake. So the Jews sacrificed lambs and smeared the blood on their do on their doorposts as a sign of the angel of death to pass over the homes of the Jewish people. The roasted lamb bone is symbolic of the animals who gave their lives to protect the firstborn children of the Jews. Okay, and then we have Isabel. <laughs> Eggs are symbols of fertility and insurance. If the Jews had escaped into the desert and stopped having children, it would have been the end of the Jewish people. And Abby. The bitter herbs symbolize the bitterness of life without freedom, without hope, without promise. The life that our ancestors suffered under Pharaoh. And Skylar. What? Do I do the salt water? Yes. yes. Tyler is the salt water. The salt water represents the tears of pain that our ancestors shed in slavery and the nightmare of knowing that their children would be born into slavery as well. The Hiroshik symbolizes the mortar that our ancestors used to show <laughs> in service. We take on behind us that even in the most bitter depths of slavery, our ancestors never stopped yearning
Amazing. Great. So now yeah. if anybody has any parsley and salt water at their table, we would symbolically dip the parsley in the salt water and we would say the blessing, Baruch Ata Elohenu No, no, Blessed are you, creator of the universe, who creates the fruit of the earth. And now we have uh, page five, the matzah, and Tony, you're up. You're going to be excused in a minute and embarrass yourself. Where are they? Hair in the dough to make it thick and soft. When our ancestors escaped from slavery in Egypt, they were more concerned about surviving the murderous spears of Pharaoh's soldiers in the deadly heat of the desert than they were about the rising of bread. Erica. Matzah is what happens to bread on those rare occasions when you can't take the time to wait for your dough to rise, especially when Pharaoh's soldiers are close behind. So we eat the matzah to remind us of the dangers that our ancestors faced and the sacrifices they made in leaving behind the only world they knew, in leaving their homes and their belongings, to race into a barren, parched, unknown desert wasteland in search of freedom. And Carol. Matzah is known as the bread of poverty. Some people say that we hide a piece of matzah to remind us that when we were poor, we could not eat without setting aside some of our food for the next meal. But we also break the matzah to remind us that we must set some of our food aside for those who go hungry today, as the Jews did under Pharaoh. And let's read that last line together. All who oh, are hungry, hungry. Right. Yeah. 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 amazing. Yeah. So now would be the time that we supposed to take that middle piece of matzah and break it in half. Now we don't have as many kids anymore. Everybody's pretty this grown. I made matzah since my delivery yeah. never came. Oh, that's right. Erica made her own matzah. Wow. wow. Did you make it, Erica? How did it turn out? You did. You got it. Got it. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, good job. So we break that middle piece of matzah. Now somebody needs to hide a piece of matzah to be found for the api. <laughs> and in my pre-recorded Seder, I just had to include this next piece because it's the washing of the hands. And I said, what a novel idea. <laughs> Have the washing of the hands for Passover, right? So symbolically, let's wash our hands together. I'm tired of doing this already. Asher Kedishanu Bemitzvotav Vitsivanu Al Nitilat Yadayim. Wash your hands. Okay. Now, we come to the most important part of the Seder. And that is the four questions. So actually, this would be one question. I'm not doing that. No, no. She's four, not. four questions for <laughs> answers. No, we're usually the other shot the same. Wait, so I am going to go and hang on. I'm going to mute everybody. Okay, super. There we go. Okay, so this could be one question. Why is tonight different from all other nights? And then the four answers as to why, or we could have four questions. Why do we do this? Why do we do that? So I'm going to read the uh, actual four questions and you guys are going to respond with the answers. So the first question, on all other nights we eat leavened bread. Why on this night do we eat only unleavened bread? Everybody read together. Once we were slaves in Egypt, and we were as we've already discussed, when we escaped from slavery, we were in no mood to make it. On all other nights, we eat all kinds of vegetables. Why on this night do we eat only bitter herbs? 
Amazing job, everybody. On all other nights, we don't dip our herbs even once. Why on this night do we dip our herbs twice? Once, Once we were slaves, slaves in Egypt, Egypt. the first the time we did it was to save the bitterness of slavery, to remind us of the pain our ancestors endured before we escaped with the freedom. The second time is to remind ourselves of the loss of life on our planet. On all other nights, we eat sitting any way we please. Why on this night must we all recline? Once we were slaves in Egypt, everything in this state is a sad aspect of that story. In this case, we came back to symbol our release from bondage, as if we were being released from chains and were strapping us to our chairs. Amazing. Debbie, yes. Debbie, can I ask you something? You can. Did anybody see this Israeli symphony orchestra with um, the, from the four questions? <laughs> oh, but Andrew, let's wait till after. Okay. Let's wait. Let's because it's. Can you hear it? I yeah. can. Thank you. 
The Jews were originally welcomed guests in Egypt. It all began with Joseph, who came to Egypt and happened to meet the Pharaoh. As Jews so often do, Joseph offered the Pharaoh unsolicited, unsolicited advice, <laughs> built storehouses, and filled, filled them with grain. For some unknown reason, the Pharaoh decided to take Joseph's advice, which was fortunate for Pharaoh. The Egyptians and the Jewish people, as years of famine struck and there was still food to eat. God. Pharaoh, wait now, Bert. now my dad, Bert. Pharaoh was so grateful that he invited Joseph's brothers and their families to move to Egypt. Joseph's family took advantage of Pharaoh's offer and eventually they became known as the Israelites. The Israelites stayed in Goshen for 400 years. The first 200 years, they found favor in Egypt and grew into a mighty nation. And Joyce. <clears throat> the new Pharaoh was not happy and he decreed that the Israelites be slaves. For 200 years, the Israelites toiled as slaves. They yearned for a savior and they yearned for freedom. Ramses II became Pharaoh and he watched the Hebrews grow in spite of their enslavement. He ordered that all newborn Israelite male slaves be thrown and drowned in the Nile. Andrew. One day on the seventh of Adar, a baby son was born to two Hebrew slaves, Yokovet and no. Amram, from the house of Levi. No. Now. From the moment of his birth, we are told, their son's face shone like the sun. Karen. Amram and Yochavet managed to hide their son in their hut for three months. However, as the infant's cries became louder, they knew that if they didn't do something, he would be found and drowned. So they made a basket of reeds and pushed it out into the river. To this day, no one knows what they were thinking, but somehow it worked out all right. And Bob. The Pharaoh's daughter was bathing in the river when the baby happened to float by. She heard the cry of the infant, and her heart was opened with compassion. She decided to keep him for her own. She named him Drawn from the Water. In Hebrew, we say Moshe. In Arabic, it is Musa, and in English, we pronounce it Moses. David. Where is David? Miriam, the older sister of the infant. Miriam, the older sister of the infant Moses, washed from the reeds as Pharaoh's daughter of the poor rabbit. He approached the princess and told her of an Israelite woman who could nurse the infant. The woman was none other than Yochavet, his mother. So for the next few years, although Moses was raised in Pharaoh's place as a prince, his real mother Yochavet still cared for him. And Dahlia and Stan, you can read the next paragraph together. Moses grew up in the palace, palace learned and learned all of the things, things a prince, prince would learn. learn. He, he lived amongst, amongst royalty and luxury, and yet only Yochebeth, Miriam, and Aaron, his older brother, knew, knew the truth, that Moses was really an Israelite slave. For 40 years, Moshe lived as the prince of Egypt until... Let's see. Actually, Hillary, do you have a Haggadah with you? I do. On my iPad. Would you read the next paragraph upon turning 80 years old? Um, that's not what's no, my no, next one day Moses. One day Moses. Oh, one, one day. day Moses. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Okay. One day Moses saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite slave, and Moses killed the Egyptian. Moses fled the land of Egypt and became a shepherd in a land called Midian. In Midian, Moses worked as a shepherd for Jethro and married Jethro's daughter, Zipporah. They had children, and all was peaceful. 
for another 40 years. Okay. Upon turning 80 years old, while Moses was tending his sheep on Mount Horeb, he noticed a flaming bush that burned, but was not being consumed. A voice called out to Moses. Moses! <laughs> Moses! <laughs> I am the God of your ancestors. Take off your shoes, for you are standing on holy ground. And there, in the presence of God, Moses received his celestial orders to return to Egypt at once. So Moses rounded up his brother Aaron, and together they went down to Egypt to tell the Pharaoh. And what did he go to tell the Pharaoh? What am I going to go? Hang on a second. Hold on. Hold that thought. When Israel was in Egypt, Egypt let the people go. Rest so far, they could not stand. Let my people go. Go down, down, move. Isabel and Ed, stand up so I can take a picture. Here. Put your put your goggle masks on. 
I'm sorry, we have a little. Let's see. Isabel, Abby, get my mommy. Yeah, Isabel, move in. Oh, I see them. Hold on. Wait, I'm taking a picture too. Oh, where's Bob? Oh, that's cute. Come here. Can you see? No, stand behind me. I called it. Abby, look at look at look at the look at the iPad. Where's I got, Bob? I got a good picture. Oh, Erica, you know you're muted. Bob, get behind. Erica, I'm scared. Yeah, that's okay. You know, they're not seeing these of you. Okay, so just relax. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yay. Hi, Erica. Okay, we're going to continue on page four. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Everybody, here we go. The last plague was the worst. The slaying of the firstborn, Moses told the Israelites to slaughter a lamb and dip hyssop into the blood and mark their doorposts so the angel of death would pass over their homes. The angel of death smote all the firstborn sons of the Egyptians, including Pharaoh's son. Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron to the palace and said, be gone, all of you. Quickly, by the light of the full moon, on the 15th of Nisan, the Israelites took their belongings and together with their Redeemer, left Egypt. However, Ramses had second thoughts. He sent his army after the Israelites. Pharaoh's army caught up with the Israelites at the Red Sea. Trapped between an army of Pharaoh's soldiers and death by drowning, Moses appealed to God, who obliged. Moses lifted his staff and the walls of the Red Sea parted, allowing the Israelites to pass through. When the Egyptians tried to follow, the walls of water caved in and drowned them. And so we will continue. Let's just do a little bit of acceleration. You all can go back and read the Dianus. But we have to sing the song. Yes. So when we got to the other side, the Israelites said, and we are on page 16, Baruch atah Adonai ga'al Yisrael, who our God, who has freed the people of Israel. And so our sages say it is not enough to take the Jews out of Egypt. We must take Egypt out of the Jews. This means that every new generation must remember the painful lessons of enslavement and fight for the freedom of all people. Jews out of Egypt. 
But the purpose of our wandering in the, four, the 40 years in the desert was to take Egypt out of the Jews. And this means that every new generation must remember the painful lessons of enslavement and the fight for the freedom of all people. So we lift our glasses and we say, Baruch atah Okay. Um, now, symbolically, open our door as we prepare to welcome Elijah. Now, in the age of coronavirus, maybe we don't open our doors. Maybe we don't have people in our I mean, I mean, he can just fly through the door, right? We can kind of wave to them outside the door. And we can do our very best to make sure we are helping the marginalized, the poor, and the people who are far less fortunate than us in finding their next meal and a taste of freedom for themselves. So we welcome Elijah by singing Eliyahu Hanabi. of it. Yeah, good. Now, whoever has, whoever has some matzah and some horseradish and some haroset, you can make yourselves little sandwiches. And I will go through the blessings. Actually, we can all say them together. It's a matzah. Yeah. Blessings. Everybody ready? Here. Baruch atah. Eloheinu melech haolam. Hamoti lechah haaret. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who brings Bread from the mm. earth. I should take the apples and how's your matzah? <laughs> okay. Debbie, your horosis is delicious. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. That's mm. right here. Horosis made by <laughs> Debbie. Can I have a bite? Right yeah, here. 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 Step to Boca by 95 last night at 6.30. Debbie, did you make the chopped liver? I did, homemade. Okay. I'm going to move it. Debbie brought us over her roses, chopped liver, and what else did she bring us? Something else. Macaroons that you have. Oh, the macaroons. I almost forgot because they're almost all gone. Can you make an apple and honey Yep. All right, wait. Best macaroons I ever tasted. Lauren is trying to get on. Eight, oh, come on, Lauren. Hang on, let me see if I can get her on. 754 828. Let me have another little piece of that. The meeting number. Erica. Password. Did you make Harosa too? Actually, Annie made the Harosas. Hi, Annie. Great. <laughs> and how's the matzah? It's and now we have to say. Easy. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Lauren. Be her daughter. No, it's not. Yes. Admit. Okay, Lauren's coming in. Lauren's coming in. Let's everybody yeah. see. Here she comes. Hi, Lauren. That's, that's not Lauren. 
It will be Lauren in just a second. Give oh. it a second. It's a picture of somebody. No, she'll be there. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Oh, she's <laughs> Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, say hi. There she is. Hi. Hi, hi, Lauren. What's up, everybody? Happy Passover. Nice to see you, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hi, hi, Lauren. Is your How are you, you all? Hope so. Everybody is so good. Oh, there's Lauren. She's getting celery. Look, I'm making matzo ball soup. Oh my God, are you serious? We're, we're not there anymore. From a, it's from a box. <laughs> yeah, Mama, I have soup for us for tomorrow. Well, Jaden asked for matzo ball soup, so. Okay. Where's Jaden? Oh, he's right over here. I will go grab the little prince. <laughs> Come here, Jaden. Come here, Jaden. Let everybody say hi to the boys. Come here. You want to see like Papa Bird? You want to see? All right, everybody. This little boy coming on is my great grandson. Hi, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. Hi. It's Papa Bird. Look. There's uh. Look at Hi, Jaden. There's the kids, the cousins in New York. That's Daddy's Them? Do you see the kids? The, the cousins from May May's oh, Bridge? Oh, the baby. Oh, oh, the baby. oh Jensen. Oh, Jensen. Hi, <laughs> big boy. Papa Bert and Joycey. Hi. 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 <laughs> you see Angie? Oh, my God. Hi. Look at his face. Yeah, hey there. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> he can't make. He can't make the sound. And he's like this. Why are you making Look at his face? Happen? What is his face? Nice <laughs> oh no! Sorry, my pipe range is like gone too. It's my glasses, so they cannot be with me. Why? They just busted too. Okay. You see how? Hi, Jensen. Hi, Jensen. Hi, Jensen. So, Jaden. Isabel, stop. Uh, hey, as long as we're on the subject of children, Sam, Debbie, yes. can you hear me? Yep. Jake just lost a tooth. Literally what? just a second. We just lost a molar. <laughs> we just oh my God. And we lost them yeah. yesterday. You know why? Because our top liver is not nearly as silky and smooth <laughs> as, as Mimi Judy's. Uh, Congratulations! I'm so sorry. I was eating it and then it felt like hungry, right. so. He almost swallowed the two. That is, that's funny. Did not eat yet? <laughs> oh, we didn't yeah. eat yet. We're just, we're almost. having Seder tomorrow night. Which is funny. That is a Yes, we're having our dinner tomorrow night. We're like doing leftovers tonight. <laughs> Fine. What, whatever works, Lauren. Whatever Deb, works. What, in. What, I'm, what, I'm surviving, okay? Heavy. Yes, Dad. What, what time is your next uh, service? Ten minutes, so I'm going to keep minutes. going. Okay, I just thought I'd remind you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> And Debbie, you. thanks. Laura, <laughs> I'm going to mute everybody. I'm going to say the last few blessings. So we say another blessing over the, over the matzah. And we say, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Alachilat Matzah Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who sanctified us with your commandments and commanded us to eat unleavened bread. Yum. Ugh. Now, if you have some maror, some horseradish, put some horseradish on your matzah. As we now say the blessing over the maror to recall the bitterness of slavery. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Al Achilat Maror. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who commands us to eat bitter herbs. And your last, set, your last little sandwich is now both 
the matzah and the bitter herbs actually and the haroset all together. And you make that last little sandwich. But we also raise our glasses of wine. One last time to say our blessing over the last third cup of wine. Actually, after you eat the dinner, you are supposed to come back and say the fourth cup of wine blessing. But if you're still sober, then you might want to hold off on that until tomorrow. So we say... In concluding this first of our Seder, Baruch Trevor's here. I didn't on eight minutes and we can just hang out and socialize together. All right. All right. Good job. Debbie. Thank yeah. you, Debbie. Good job. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, honey. Fabulous. Wonderful, wonderful, <laughs> Debbie. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are so grateful to have you do this for us, and we made certainly made a lot of lemonade. <laughs> out of out of this year's lemons we sure did. look and it's it's beautiful thank you very much oh it was so my pleasure and i we met everything i said in my email that i sent out earlier i could not be any happier to be here with everybody every everybody, everybody. Oh, debbie Debbie, thank you so much for joining us in your lovely family. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye, Dahlia. Thank you. Happy Pentecost, everyone. Happy Pentecost, everyone. Happy Pentecost. 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 Happy Glad you could be with us, Hillary. Me yeah, too. Thank you. Yeah. Well, everyone, stay well, stay healthy, follow the rules, be good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And again, okay. next year, even if we here, maybe together would be amazing. <laughs> Wherever yeah. the hell we are. Wherever the hell we are. Okay. Wherever the hell we are. Okay. To that. Next year. Bye-bye. Next year. Bye-bye. 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 Hey, y'all. Call you later. Okay, bye, Dad. Bye, honey. Bye. Love you. Bye, yeah. Erica. Love you. Bye. Love you, everybody. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye. 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 Bye, Bye, David. Bye. Bye. Bye, David and family. Bye, Bye Josh. What? Bye, Trevor. Bye, Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye, family. Bye. Happy birthday, Carol. Bye. Happy, Happy birthday, Carol. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, watch it. Happy birthday to you. What a group. What a group. What a leader. What a group. So it looks like my daughter signed off. All right, so I have five minutes. I'm in jail. How can you do this again? What are you doing now? Crap. <laughs> I'm doing another live Zoom call and <laughs> broadcasting it to Facebook. No, I'm not yeah, going to. Can we see it or is it just a private? No, you can go on you can go on my uh, yeah. you can go on my Facebook page um, and uh, you can join me for the Zoom session if you want, but my God, I can't imagine that you would want to. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Don't bother. Go drink some wine and have a nice, quiet evening. Yes. Bring on the wine. Yeah. More, four cups of wine. Four.
Right. Well, in my case, it's going to be Hi, eight, Bert. so I'll be ready for bed. Hi, Julia. Morning. I talked to you. Yeah, wasn't this great? Oh, fantastic. We're the, we're the matriarch right. and the patriarch. <laughs> I know. It's so good. Do you, like, do you like my uh, I'm coming email closer. today? I'm so happy. Yes, of course I loved it. Yes, of yeah. course I loved it. Yes. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> I'm coming a little closer. Now I can see you. I know. I couldn't see oh, that. Hi, We had to go far behind to get all of, all of everybody in. Yeah. So yeah. I don't want to be too close, though. You don't want to see... You don't want to see my face too close. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we I do. tell you, I kept remarking how well everybody looks. And we just cleaned up well, just didn't terrific. we? I cleaned up well. We really did. We really we did. listen. It was an occasion. We could put up makeup and occasion. Get dress. Calm your occasion. Th calm this, your hair. This, put on makeup. Yeah. Put some earrings yeah. on. Yeah. First time in weeks. All right, guys, guess what? I've got people driving me crazy already saying they're waiting for me in my other Zoom room. So I'm going to have to end our meeting. <laughs> All right. Debbie, All right. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank much. you. Really. Thank you. I thank love you, you guys. Oh, All right. Bye, Bye. Bye. Oh, I have Bye. to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Talk to you tomorrow, Deb. See you Bye. tomorrow, Dad.